right, Teleodia champs. Now in that box there, we have Intel's latest 11th generation CPU, and I'm talking about the big daddy here. So this is not the 1165G7 that is in the XPS 13 2 one The CPU in the laptop in this box is a more powerful CPU has slightly higher clock speed, slightly higher GPU clock speed as well. It is Intel's 11th generation 1185G7. So not the 1165, the 1185G7. But can it be Apple's M1 chip? Well, there's only one way to find out. All right, so let's open this sucker up. Oh, and see what we have here. So this is MSI's Prestige 14 Evo A11M. Now the thing about this is, it should crank up a bit harder this CPU. Maybe it's the 28 watt version. It's gonna be interesting to see single core versus that because they're supposed to be very close, the M1 and the 11th generation CPU when it comes to single core. Multi-core, yes, different story, but let's find out. All right, so, ooh, that's a nice box, isn't it? Nicely packaged there. This is for your business user, premium business laptop. And what do we have here? It says the specs there. And indeed, it is the Prestige 14 Evo, 14 inch Full HD display, 60 hertz IPS level, CPU i7 1185G7. Of course, with Intel XE, it is an Evo laptop, so it has the good graphics, 512 gig SSD, and it does have 16 gigabytes of LP DDR4X. So that's super fast RAM, Wi-Fi 6, all that good stuff. Of course, it is Evo certified, so of course you're gonna get Wi-Fi 6. You're gonna have Thunderbolt 4 as well. So, yeah, wow. It's in a sleeve here. That's interesting. Get some literature. Comes in that nice little pouch there. That's pretty cool. Wowzers, wowzers, wowzers. That is super light. That is lighter than that MacBook Pro, that's for sure. And it's a 14 incher. Feels super light. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Look at that embellishment of the cool in there. Nice factory seal. Oh, I can't believe how light that is. Wow, look at that finish. Nice finish there. Look at the blue edging on it. That's nice. Can you see that blue edging? Looks sophisticated, smart. Can it be open with one hand? Yes, it can. And there it is. Evo certified Intel 11th gen Iris XE graphics and it's going to be interesting to see how fast this can go Unfortunately, they've put two Thunderbolt 4s on one side I wish they put one on either side that would be better also look at that massive trackpad Ooh. Anyway, we want to find out how fast this is single core. You also do get this little power brick in there So that's pretty cool. Of course USB-C so yeah Nice little package there, looks nice. Now let's do the test. Which one's gonna be fast, a single core? Okay, now we're at the moment of truth. I did actually do a video editing benchmark. Real world project, the one I always use. I'll talk about that in a sec, but both of these claim to have the fastest single core in the world. And it was interesting to see. When I went to a Nantech where they have the M1 coverage on a Nantech, the Intel was actually faster single core. So Apple claimed they've got the fastest single core. So does Intel. Now with the 1165G7, which I had in the XPS 13, this was faster in single core. What about these? Two. This is the 1185G7, so this is faster. Now with single core, let's get the scores up. With single core, you've got to remember that that's what we mostly use, you know, to get our jobs done, just a you know, quick burst here and there of power, single core, and what do we got here? There you can see. Woof. There is literally no difference, like no <laughs> difference. This gets a single core score of 15,020. Guess what? 15,019, like one difference. So the snappiness of everyday use will be very similar. Although, you know, with this, you do get that really light operating system, which is, you know, basically iOS with some Mac OS, you know, interface and frameworks, etc. But it's a very light operating system. But this is super quick too. I'll just do a quick resume test in a sec. But when it comes to multi-core, this is still faster. 7,733 versus 6,218. I'm actually really surprised that this Intel system is that fast. It's four cores versus eight and single core basically the same. So I guess to me that's very interesting. Now the Intel does use a lot more power than the M1 Mac, but it is what it is. Let's see the resume test here. So I'm gonna lift them both up and see which one resumes faster. And I'll also tell you that this thing here, Intel system, one of the saddest things about the M1 Mac is 
you can't use eGPUs anymore. And I did do a video editing test exporting the project that I do on every single laptop I review. And the M1 Mac, even in Premiere Pro, even though it's running in Rosetta, this was eight minutes faster than this exporting the project. Now I add that eGPU to this Intel Mac, and then this is six minutes faster than that. So you can always turbocharge this 4K gaming, do some really heavy projects where you need a GPU. You still got the Thunderbolt 4 here and you can use an eGPU. So that's one thing. Let's see the resume test of these two laptops. Okay, the M1's resume really fast. But that was fast too. I mean, it's ready to go before you even open the lid. So really... They're both great in that regard. I just thought I'd throw up this test because this is 1185G7. This is the best Intel 11th gen you can get. Let me know what you guys think. Catch you in the next one. Tally ho.